Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be checking out my Space Moth Clear from earlier this year. I think it was January, within the first week of January. Um, I still remember... Oh, it was just fantastic. I'm not sure how long it took to clear this after getting the game, but I just remember like cold, blustery winter nights and just being in the living room late at night, just chipping away at this game each evening for a few days or whatever and it was just a fantastic time and I really liked this game a lot when I was playing it there was just something about it that really clicked with me and so I want to go back and do a, um, a commentary for this clear since uh, at the time I wasn't doing that sort of thing for my 1cc runs so anyway um, if you're not familiar with this game the way it works if I recall is you can essentially transform the enemies into like a demonic version or something and then they get more aggressive uh, but I think there's some benefit I don't recall all the details uh, there are also hidden items in each stage I don't recall if that's strictly for collection purposes or if there's like a points bonus I it, it, well, yeah it's been a while because uh, we're coming up on almost a year at this point um, but yeah you'll notice the rainbow flashing ring around me what i love about this game is that it has a risk reward system built into it in the sense that at any point i can cancel out the bullets within that circle when i use it then i have to let it grow to that uh, size again so it means that okay if it's uh, smaller but i still need to do it then i think i can at that point I'm sure we'll see examples of that pan out as we go because uh, the run gets pretty intense at times. The game throws a lot at you. But yeah, that's what I remember so far. And that guy went down super quick. Holy smokes. I don't recall what the skulls are all about. Maybe if you're converting enemies and then destroying them or something. But yeah, just everything from the visuals, like... There aren't many, like sure, there are the uh, Mushihime-sama and Futari. Uh, those are certainly like insect-themed games. Uh, but other than that, I'm really not sure of too many that kind of follow that uh, look and feel. Obviously, this has its own appearance that it's going for. And I'm pretty sure this was done by a fairly small team. Uh, this and Star Hunter DX uh, released around the same time on Switch. But what I love about this game too is that it's... It may look intense at first, but it's really great for... Or at least in my opinion, people who are new to these games but want to st uh, sort of get used to micro-dodging. And, and just... There, we'll see stuff later on, like uh, maybe even this boss or the one after. I don't remember which comes first. But there are just some great moments where things are super dense, like a whole field worth of bullets, and you've just got to do the tiniest adjustments to kind of weave through all the bullets. And so it's great practice. I, I really, really enjoy this game for that. And the two moths, uh, I'm using... The Hawk, I think? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't really have experience with the other one. Sure, I've sampled it, but it's not like I played much with that one. Uh, I just really enjoyed how this one played and felt and all that, so I just went with it. But yeah, it's just a really creative game. Like, we have all sorts of really nice colors, and everything is pretty discernible in terms of the projectiles. And that makes a big difference. Sometimes if you're playing something and you can barely make out the shots, that can uh, pose problems. But here everything is pretty clear what's what. And just the variety, like we got big mushrooms that we need to take out. <laughs> and I remember, you see how tiny some of those bullets are? I l always loved this part specifically because it's just like you have these tiny like almost microscopic bullets and then larger ones of course but 
Holy smokes, like just keeping track of this stuff as it kind of just rains down the screen. It's really creative stuff. I absolutely love this. It's just such a blast. I remember being close a number of times before actually clearing it and... Oh, it just gets you pumped for one more run because you know it, you're so close. So this boss, when I was first getting into it anyway, this could really trip me up. Even though some of these patterns are very basic, uh, it just, yeah, it's it can be pretty crazy. So yeah, that's how the circle works. It kind of starts shrinking down so you can gauge when you're going to need to actually... Uh, yeah, like just be back into the action, but until then you're you're safe. And of course we have bombs because I just used one there, so those definitely come in handy. And oh, even things like the phases of the moon that they've worked into that like stage end screen. Stuff like that's just really cool, like a nice touch. It's not simply a matter of, oh yeah, okay, the enemies are insects. Like, the whole thing is based around nature and... Oh, it's just so fantastic. And at first glance, it may look like each stage is kind of similar, but enemy variety changes pretty drastically uh, each stage throws something new and exciting to be challenged by and work through and I think that's really solid sometimes a game will have more or less the same enemies for every single stage and I like when they go the extra mile and keep things super varied because then it feels like it, a true journey. Oh, and the soundtrack! You might not be hearing too much because I keep the, uh, the game audio pretty low when I'm doing these commentaries, but yeah, either get the game because it's very reasonably priced and it's awesome, or just listen to the music on YouTube or something because it's fantastic. I love that part. It's just everything's easy to read there, but you still got to be really careful. And speed killing things as much as possible is always something I'm into. Yeah, it was not taking chances there. And I, what I love is that the circle is independent. So it's not like it stays around you. You can leave it and keep firing other things or you can go back to safety while it's there. Oh, it's just such a great mixture of things and balance of um, elements that they've thrown into this game. It's I'm very, very curious to see what they do next, if they're going to do more shmups or what. Now, out of the two games that I mentioned they did so far anyway, I have played, like, I have Star Hunter DX. I've played it. I haven't dedicated myself to it. Uh, but in ways, I, I gravitate a lot more to this one. man so cool like that I was not taking a chance with that it might be this boss where we start to see the the really really dense stuff but again here it's one of those things where it's pretty simple stuff but because your your eyes and your brain are just taking in like all these things on screen at once it's it's easy to slip up here. But this is what I'm talking about. It's fantastic practice for just 
small movements here and there. Okay, so it's going to be a future boss. It, it wasn't this one that where we see like the really, really thick bullet patterns. Guaranteed it's this one. I know it's this one. Oh, man. I could see myself jumping into this one again, to be honest, and playing it because of how great it is. And just the way some of the the bullet patterns work, like the fact that the Venus flytraps, they fire out these spreading spirals and then they kind of come back, or start to anyway. It's just really cool stuff. I love that feeling when Yeah, that was a great. Oh, I love those enemies. I love the feeling when you you start getting pretty consistent and doing pretty well up to a certain point and it's just a matter of time before you you nail it. And it's exciting to see how it's going to play out. You gotta you gotta take them out quick, otherwise things get way too crazy. And it's way too close down down below. But as for the mushrooms, this is a fun part, just kinda learning the flow of the weaving and whatnot. That was another situation where it's easy stuff, but I didn't want to take a chance. I think I might have even almost gotten hit there, I'm not sure. So in ways, I don't feel this one is uh, super heavy in the memorization department. It certainly helps to kind of know what side things are going to show up on here and there, just for specific, uh, specific parts of the stage, but for the most part you can kind of just wing it, and that works too. That was just, uh, yeah, sloppy. The safety of the circle. The sacred circle. Holy smokes. Such a great mechanic. <laughs> this fight is off the charts. Like, look at that. They, co they come out at a certain speed, and then they start slowing down near the bottom of the screen. That is so cool. And then it's just already dense, and we're just tiny, tiny stuff. If you're playing this, or you're wanting to after seeing this, because you like the look of it and you want to check it out, do not hesitate to use your circle. Learn, learn, learn the flow, learn the balance. Use it when you need to. Throw a bomb when you need to. Because holy smokes. This game is no joke. It's no joke. Like this, this is wicked. This is one of my favorite parts in the whole game because it's just a little nudge back and forth. Back and forth. So it looks, it looks crazy. But it's very simple. As long as you have your positioning fine and you're not overshooting your movement, then you're good to go. But it's just a tap and then a tap and then a tap. And we got one stage to go. I really enjoy shmups that are around the 20 minute mark. It's not that I'm opposed to playing longer ones, but 
I think these days I just like ones that are shorter and sweet. Like when I think about Sengoku Blade, like yeah, that's a wild challenge packed into a more or less 12 minute experience. Like that is just wild stuff. There's some really wicked enemies. Like these guys are so cool. And just the color of the explosions, like everything in this game is just really awesome. Now, why insects are <laughs> exploding in, yeah, clouds of pink and orange gas, I have no idea. Maybe it has something to do with, like, the death ray we're using. I really want them to make another vertical shmup. These bats. This is another really, really fun part because stuff is slow moving here. For the most part, I think the game kind of just leans in that direction. Slow moving, but crisscrossing kind of stuff. Um... But it's just fun staying on top of these bats for this part. Oh man, oh man, I was not taking a chance with that, that is for sure. And then, oh, I remember the first time I started coming up, uh, like making it to this stage and those dudes just out of nowhere, I wasn't expecting that, and you just take hits. Like that, you're barely through the big guy's ring, and those tiny flying saucers are just already sniping at you. But I love stuff where you can just squeeze between two orbs like that. It's a, oh, like that, so easy to take a hit there. Thankfully, I did not. Man, but just, yeah, simple back and forth stuff. Takes a little getting used to, but it's a lot of fun. In ways, this tests you because, oh, the, as if we took a hit. Because it's tempting to want to, like, use your, your shield thing, but you know, okay, if I can just squeeze through this last wave or two, then it's at the ready and you don't have to risk waiting to charge it. So yeah, as you can see, this boss is just stuff all over the place. I'm not hesitating, I'm not taking chances. Like, holy smokes, I love stuff like this where rings of projectiles just bend and turn like that. Oh, there's a hit. At least we got more bombs. That's the thing. Always use your bombs because when you take a hit anyway, you're going to have more at your disposal. So please make use of your bombs. But yeah, we have not seen anything. This fight goes places, I'm telling you. This boss throws... <laughs> now we got bouncing projectiles. Like, what? Like, just look how brilliant that is. Holy smokes. It's like, oh my god. Like, what? The moon is red. And this is a, a, a countdown fight. So I think it's 10 seconds left that we just got to survive. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a fantastic fight that, like, oh, that just blows me away. Such a blast. So anyway, I think what I will do is just leave off there. We got a really nice song going here. Uh, so maybe I'll even just stop talking. 
I'll boost the volume for this last part and you can just enjoy that. So yeah, thanks for checking this out. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you next time. Thank you.